Hello again, welcome back. Today we are doing my Valentine's Day 2022 decorate with me. I'm super excited to do this video. So here's everything that I will be using. Of course, things that I have been collecting over the years. Personally, I gravitate more towards pink than red. So a little bit more in detail, I have lots of greenery and things that I have left over from my wedding, like those lights. I have some succulents, some filler from Target this year, lots of goodies from Dollar Tree this year. They did an excellent job in my opinion. I have a couple of truck signs and I will be using my pillow covers that I bought last year if you are a returning viewer. I have some gnomes. Most of these are gifts from you guys, so thank you. I have my kitchen towels, some signs, some risers, and then I have the coasters that I bought from Dollar General. Some cute houses. I do have a few beaded strands from Dollar Tree and Dollar General. I'm still looking out for some bigger signs. I did do a recent haul. I'll share that down in the description box if you would like to see that. Here towards the left, I have a few of the items that I want to use in my coffee station slash hot cocoa bar so that will be fun to decorate okay i also have this wreath that i will be using i like it because it's still wintry we are getting snow every other day here in pennsylvania so this is just perfect for the weather outside i don't know if you guys remember that i shared these fillers from dollar tree last spring or last summer so i will be using them now I want to use them here in my dough bowl. These come in different sizes, different colors, and I also want to incorporate them inside my lantern from Walmart. And lastly, before starting, I do have this pretty wreath that I did hang up on the wall. It's perfect. I always like to start off with the pillow covers to set the mood here in the living room. So these are from Amazon. The middle one is from Walmart last year, and this is how this looks. I purchased a pretty hedgehog Valentine's Day blanket last year, but I can't find it, so I'm still looking out for that. I mostly like to do the cleaning off camera, but I'm just going to spray and clean off my coffee table. So now let's decorate. So I do have my riser that I purchased from Dollar General, $6. And this vase or vase is also from Dollar General. I did get it last year, but I love the pretty design that it has. I have a couple of lamb's ear picks. Those are from Walmart. I highly recommend them. They are very affordable. And here I just have some flowers that are left over from my wedding. You guys know I had this peachy pink color, very pretty. So those are perfect. I did want to add my faux candles here. I'm putting three in different sizes and then I want to use the coasters from Dollar General. They are coasters but I want to use them kind of like a stand to add more of that rustic effect. I have one of those Dollar Tree succulents from this year and a beaded strand It says be mine. We enjoy watching movies and eating here so the salt and pepper shakers are a must in our family and this is the result. Next is my faux fireplace. I put a pretty Valentine's Day video with instrumental music. I have my candles, my love banner from Target's dollar spot last year. That garland is also very pretty from my wedding. Love is patient, love is kind. It's one of my favorite Bible verses. That's from Dollar Tree last year. I will be setting down these two houses on each side. And then I have these grapevine hearts from Dollar Tree that I got last year, so I will be putting one and one. I do have these lights that were from my wedding and they just shine so pretty, very beautiful. So I did want to add these here. I will give you a close up when I am done. Okay, now let's decorate the shelves on each side. I have my little love bug from Target. 
as well as these ceramic houses i do have two those are five dollars each i am speeding up just a little bit so this won't be you know an extra long video i do have my gnomes from family dollar those are three dollars a piece and they are just so cute red or pink these stacked books are from dollar tree they did come with a black and white checkered ribbon i did switch it out for a burlap and lace ribbon so it can match better with my decor i do have these signs from dollar tree highly recommend them so I will be setting one on each side of the faux fireplace. And I will just be keeping my lanterns there. Here's the red house. Again, these are from Target. A very nice size. And then I will be adding this sign, Follow Your Heart. It is from Dollar General last year. A dollar. One of my favorite finds from Dollar Tree this year was this pretty sign, especially the flowers here. This is perfect for the decor in my house, so I'll be setting that right here. And I have this sign, Love Makes House a Home. This is also new from Dollar General. It's part of their spring collection. So now let's decorate this little furniture piece here. I have this heart. It's like kind of like a sweater material from Walmart last year. They do have it this year again. I want to incorporate my tear tray from Target. You plus me equals love. This is from Dollar General last year. I have another succulent and a light up house. Target's Dollar Spot is a good place to find those. I have my Minnie Mouse succulent from Dollar General last year. As well as this tag sign, all you need is love. One dollar. I do have my iridescent light up heart. They do have these at Walmart again this year. I paid $3.98 for it. Those are very nice. I like to add something that lights up in both levels of my tier tray to kind of balance it out. So here I'm just gonna, you know, accommodate things the best way I can. I will be taking this moment to introduce myself to anyone who is new. My name is Laura. If you love seasonal decor videos, shop with me anything to do with seasonal decor hauls definitely subscribe don't miss out okay so now i want to give you an overview of this whole side of the wall Okay, now let's decorate this furniture piece. I have another one of these pretty garlands. I purchased a lot of these guys because of my wedding and for my bridal shower. I do want to add this important piece here. So if you guys are new, it's basically how the stars were aligned the day I met my husband. And it says our date and it says New York and, you know, the latitude and longitude of where we were that day inside of my lantern i put the filler some of the felt hearts and some led lights that are roses which is very pretty i also want to use my hobby lobby two tier tray here i do have these stands from dollar tree this year so i'll be setting one and one So on top of those, I will be setting these little gnomes from Dollar General last year. I thought they were a cute size. I love this EXO from Target last year. Believe it or not, I was already running out of things to put here. So I just set up these gnomes. 
They are from Dollar Tree this year. Here are some smaller signs and decor pieces that I want to use on my tear tray. Okay, I love decorating my tear tray, so let's start. This sign is from Walmart last year. It says, Love Us. I also have the pink version of that iridescent light up heart. Another one of these little small houses. I want to put one of these gnomes on each side of that house. With tear trays, you kind of have to move things a lot. Since I have lots of gnomes, I wanted to use this sign here. There's no more like you. That one is from Dollar General this year, a dollar. I have one of the Dollar Tree succulents. I have a white felt heart and a red ceramic heart. I'm just gonna be adding on each side. I thought it would be a nice idea to add one of these beta strands here. That's the natural wood and red. It says true love. And then I'll just be adding another one of these hearts right here and we are done. Here is another area I enjoy decorating. I did go along and do my dobo off camera. I also added another one of those floral garlands down there. So here is what it looks like. So as you can see, I have the fillers from Target, this You and Me beaded strand, and all of the Dollar Tree face filler. I did add a lamb's ear pick on each side. I do have the pink version of the LED lights. So I will be hiding the little battery box behind my lamb's ear and this is how it looks. Very, very beautiful. I want to use my little wreath thing from Target Dollar Spot last year. Very pretty. And then I have my seasonal birds from Target this year and I just realized that they have a tag name on each of their feet. This one is called Flynn and this one's called Harkin. So I don't know, do they always have names? It's something I just realized and I'm just curious. These guys are from Burlington last year and I just, I had forgotten about them and honestly it just made me so happy to see them because they are so heavy and plump. So, so cute, even the girl, it has a heart. I have this five cent kissing booth sign from Target this year, it's $5. And now moving down, I don't really have too much to work with anymore guys. So I just thought to put this sign here that says my love from Dollar Tree, love grows here, I think is from Dollar Tree two years back. And then choose love from Dollar General, this was $3. I got it last year but I think they still have it. And I'll just be adding more of the grape vine hearts to add, you know, some texture. Maybe I'll drive out to Hobby Lobby or Christmas Tree Shop because I definitely need a few more goodies. Really quickly before going on to the kitchen, I will just be decorating this tear tray here on my side table. Nothing too crazy, I'll just be adding one of these sweater hearts again. This XO from Target, love you. Kiss me is also from Target. This sign is from Dollar General last year. Again, nothing too complicated. 
I do have my gnomes that were a gift from a subscriber. Super cute. And that's it for this side. Starting off with the kitchen towels. I have this one that says Te Quiero. That is from Threshold at Target. And then the gnome towel and this towel right here was a set from the Bullseye's Playground for $5. I did go along and decorate a bit off camera. So in this corner, I just put my utensils that were a gift from my subscriber. My mason jar from Dollar Tree and some candy in that jar. So here I'm just pointing out that I would love the Valentine's Day cupcake sign or pancake sign from Hobby Lobby this year. I think it would look great there. So on this side, I just have lots of sweets. My marshmallow cups that were a gift from a subscriber. My macarons that match that sign. And I just think they're really cute. I did put that love heart sign right there. Above my hutch, I put my lamb's ear garland. It needs a bit of fluffing now that I see. And inside, I just put whatever I had left. So just some gnomes, some signs. The mason jar sign definitely goes well because it's here in the kitchen. Okay, so here is my coffee station. So I do have my coffee gnomes. I love you a latte. I DIY'd that last year. All you need is love and coffee. And coffee is my love language. One is from Dollar General, the other one's from Big Lots. I did put my pom pom garlands there. And I did keep my icicle fringe from Christmas. And I just put a pom pom garland here. So here I'm just showing you some of the mugs that I have. Here are my person. My favorite one is this one right here because of the pink handle. I scored on the gnome mugs from Walmart this year. One of my favorite finds because last year I did not have luck. So I'm just hanging up my mugs to get those out of the way. And I do have this gumball machine. It's ceramic. It's so small. It's from Dollar Tree. Part of their fairy garden items. Here is another sign that I DIY'd. All you need is love and hot chocolate. These pretty wood sticks are from Dollar Tree this year and I knew I wanted to use them here in my coffee station hot cocoa bar so I'll just be putting those inside of my marshmallow mug. I also have this sign right here which was a gift from my subscriber Michelle thank you so much $3.99 one of my favorite pieces. That is from Hobby Lobby. I think they have it again this year. I have my dispenser, which I still haven't put any goodies inside. And then I have my PB&J. But first, I wanted to show you this towel. You're making me so happy. That is from Family Dollar last year. But yes, here's my PB&J. I love them so much. My goodness. I used to eat a lot of PB&J when I was small. And here I just have some small little figurines. Those are from Dollar Tree, part of their fairy garden items from last year. So I just want to make a cute little setup here in front of my PB&J. I have this pretty house. And I have my mug. So here I will be setting this one and the other one under here. I do have some straws. They are red with white hearts. And I have my to-go cups. These are left over from last year. So I'll be putting my straws inside. I do have this jar here with some of the conversation hearts. And this is how this turned out. On the inside of my front door, I will be putting this sign, Love Never Fails. Really cute. That's from Dollar General. And that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please press that like button before leaving to help boost my channel up. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for everyone who comments on each of my videos. 
I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. A big virtual hug to all of you. I hope you guys are doing well. See you guys in my next video. Goodbye, guys.